This video is on how to set up a master consolidation company in your Sage BusinessWorks. Consolidation companies let you print multi-company financial statements while still maintaining separate accounting records for each of your businesses. A master consolidation company is used for multi-company financial statements and cannot and should not be used for any other purpose than consolidating your subsidiary companies. You should not post transactions directly into a master consolidation company. You may already have your separate companies created in your Sage Business Works. If not, you need to create each of your separate companies first. These companies will be your subsidiary companies. Each master consolidation company has an associated list of subsidiary companies. The chart of accounts for the master company must have each account that exists in every subsidiary company. Any account appearing in more than one company must be of the same type and class. Otherwise, the charts will not merge and you will not be able to consolidate the data or print financial statements from your master company. For example, if you have salaries and payroll tax expense accounts in each of your subsidiary companies, the GL account number, account type, and account class must be the same in each of the companies in order for your financials to combine into one account in your master company. Whenever you add or remove or renumber an account from one of your subsidiary company's chart of accounts, you should also add or remove that same account from the master company's chart of accounts with either the build chart of accounts or maintain chart of accounts. If you need to handle intercompany adjustments and eliminations, we recommend you create a special company just for that purpose and include it as one of your subsidiaries of the master company. Basically, for your master company, the chart of accounts in each of your subsidiary companies must be the same. Also, the current open month must be the same in each of your subsidiary companies before you actually combine into your master company. To set up your master consolidation company, you first need to create your company using the maintain companies. We go to utilities, maintain companies. We click on the new button and we create a new company and I'm going to call mine master and this is going to be my master company and we'll save. We type create and let it create the file. We can now click in the launcher, select company and find our new master company to make it our current company. We now need to create the GL data files by going to general ledger, utilities, create GL data files. A master consolidation company is for financials only, so only GL data files need to be created. We'll say OK and answer yes to the option that this is creating it, the data files. I'm going to set my current open month to match the current open months of my uh, subsidiary companies right now, which are all in June of 2020. I'll keep two years of history. And I don't need to worry about the chart of accounts because my subsidiary companies will be building that chart of accounts. I do want to check the box down here to indicate this is going to be a master consolidation company. We'll say OK. And we notice we get this message indicating this is going to be a master consolidation company. Make sure this is correct. A master consolidation company should only be used to print financial reports for subsidiary companies. Master consolidation companies should not be used to post transactions or for any purpose other than the multi-company consolidation. Let's say OK and type create. Now that our general ledger data files have been created in our master company, we now can select our subsidiary companies from the list. We'll go to General Ledger, 
transfer multi-company consolidation. On the first tab, we get our list of all the companies and this is where we will select the companies that we wish to consolidate for our financials. So we're going to identify the subsidiaries by checking each of the companies that's going to be in this current master company. So I have three companies I've created called subsidiary one, two, and three. And those are going to be the three companies that I'm going to combine into one master company for financial reporting purposes. If your master consolidation company has other master companies as subsidiaries that you want to add to it, you want to be sure that you consolidate the subsidiary master companies first. Now if you have several levels of master companies, make sure you consolidate the master companies at the lowest level first and then work your way up consolidating to the highest level of master company last. Now that I have my three companies selected, I'm going to click on the build chart of accounts. Now this is where I'm going to merge the chart of accounts from all my subsidiary companies into one master chart of accounts for the master company. It's always a good idea to go ahead and erase the current chart of accounts that exists in your master company in case you've added, renumbered any of your accounts from one of your subsidiary companies. It will erase what's already been built into the master company and then recreate a new chart of accounts. Let's go ahead and build our chart of accounts now. Once it's complete, we'll get the message that our chart of accounts is complete. Now, if you do receive any inconsistencies, then you're going to have to go back and get those corrected first. You'll get some uh, an exception report and the exception report will tell you what those inconsistencies are. You'll need to go back into your subsidiary companies, get those corrected, and then repeat this process again until there's no inconsistencies that are reported. I'm going to OK this and now I'm ready to go to the third tab which is consolidate. So this option is used to transfer all the account balances from your subsidiary companies into one master company. So as mentioned previously, it's really important that each of your companies be in the same current open month or you're going to have inconsistent financial reporting. So I'm going to go ahead and import and what it does is it goes through and consolidates my companies. I'm going to say OK and I'm ready to look at my financials. I now can look at an income statement and this income statement is going to be consolidated from my three subsidiary companies. And there we go. As a reminder, if you have created a special company that handles intercompany adjustments and eliminations, you should post all of those intercompany adjusting transactions to that special company before starting the consolidation into your master company. This concludes our video on setting up a master consolidation company. Thank you for listening.